Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going over the polar vortex, a major storm in Oceania, the proton storm last week, and two excellent studies on space weather and the global electric circuit, with implications looking ahead to the pole shift. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and things were pretty quiet. Only a couple sunspot groups, incoming coronal hole on the south, small filaments, and a couple incoming active regions near the limb. One of them, on the north, released an M-class solar flare this morning, so we will be watching it closely the next few days as it turns in to face the Earth. And this is another interesting feature, looking like a coronal hole moat around an active region, which would be unusual to say the least. Up next, we are going to be looking at the polar vortex on the verge of collapse. This is psychotically early for that event, but it's breaking quite clearly and that isn't expected to change over the next week. More cold air sliding down into the United States. This early breakdown is almost certainly related to the high proton storm energy dump into our system last week. Two months of energy in one afternoon, and solar storms are known to break down the polar vortex early and cause those severe winter outbreaks more commonly in the aftermath. Also noteworthy, got a cyclone just north of Australia and it is looking like it's readying to swing south of the continent. Forecasters think it's got a bit more eastward shift, but then it turns south and back to the west as it crosses over the northern part of Australia. Speaking of last week's proton storm, it was the largest in 19 years. Not anywhere near the largest flare event since then, by the way, but airline passengers likely got double the normal radiation dose that day, which is significant but not deadly. But electronics on the plane are another story. Bit flip errors are expected to have exceeded 60 per hour in the critical systems. Kind of lucky nothing major happened with thousands of birds in the sky. Lastly, folks, twin companion studies hitting the May 2024 solar storm impact to the global electric circuit. This is critical not only because of how it mechanistically works the weather with statistical correlations found every time they look, but here they're actually overtly suggesting the sun is triggering severe weather outbreaks with its electromagnetic energy dump into the planet. As we descend further into the pole shift, this will only get worse. Folks, the winter tour is just 10 days away, kicking off in Omaha, Nebraska. That is the only central state's location of the group. Second one in San Diego, less than a month away. Prepping, survival, geared specifically for the pole shift event and Earth's disaster cycle and the expected phases of the disaster. Let me do your thinking for you so you can just do. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.